Good morning. I'm Morgan, and uh, I was really bored, so I thought that I would film something. I don't really want to have like an intro or anything, because I think that's kind of stupid. I'm just going to start as if I had never not been doing this. What am I doing? Um, so, yes. Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm a person. I live. And, uh, that's about it. I have a dog. Can you see her? Oh, that's her butt. That's a dog. And she keeps me company. And makes sure I don't ever get any of the covers at night. So that's great. Yeah, I just wanted to, like, have some sort of journal. And I'm a writer. I'm a journalist. So, like, technically I guess I should be writing things. But, like, that's so much work. So I'm going to just make a little video journal of me talking about nonsense while I do my makeup. Well, not nonsense. I might be getting a cat. And by might be getting a cat, I mean might be getting a cat today. Um, when did I make this decision? Yesterday. But, you know, it's okay. Sometimes a kitten just falls into your lap and you have to go, Oh, it's orange. I have to take it. It's just like the way the world works. I see now why beauty gurus like speed this up. But that's not what I want to do. I want real-time vlogs, almost. Not vlogs, but like, I want it to be a very unintrusive look in my life. 20 minutes in the life. How do I make this more interesting? I'm, not, I'm like two minutes in and I'm already bored. Um, yeah, I go to college, I'm a senior, fingers crossed, I will graduate in the spring, and then I have to figure out where I'm going to, like, live, and how I'm going to continue to support myself, and be a grown-up, and what am I going to do with my life, and that's so much work to think about. This is the e.l.f. brow pencil, by the way. Um, it's literally the color of my dreams, but it's not, it doesn't have much staying power. Like, I could literally, like, and my entire eyebrow would disappear. So, I always follow it up with the NYX eyebrow gel. Which isn't that good. It's really not. It basically wipes my eyebrow pencil off, which is really annoying. But the only one other one I have is uh, the Glossy Boy Brow. And I only use that when I don't fill in my eyebrows because otherwise it makes them way too dark. It's like stupid. I, I have a lot of feelings about Glossier. Theoretically, I love them. I love their marketing. I love their brand, I love their image, I love their social media. I love people on the internet who love them. But like, I got, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff in April, I guess. And I don't love, love any of it. Like, it's okay. Like, the boy brow, like, doesn't have enough pigment. The cloud paints feel like they disappear in two minutes. The halo scope feels like it disappears in two minutes. I used up my serums, like, really fast, because they're in, like, tiny little bottles. Like, I don't know. Yeah. All right, more about this kitten, it's this little orange cat, um, and it has an eye infection, which is not great, but we do what we gotta do, and Miss Marcy, 
my big pup here uh, gets UTIs like every other week almost. So I've dealt with animals with medical needs before. But I'm in the marching band and some guys in band found this cat, I guess this weekend. And they were like, last night at rehearsal, they were like, does anybody want a cat? And I was like, I'll take him. Like after like a minute and a half. I like texted my roommate and was like, can I get a cat? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> and that was it. That was the decision making process. Um, so I like poked their arm and was like, yo, I'll take this cat. And he's so cute. He's so cute. He's just this tiny little thing. And I just don't understand how such cute things like exist. I've never had a cat before. My family had a dog a corgi. I loved him. I've always loved animals. I am more of a dog person, but my roommate has a cat, Penny, and Penny's like the best thing ever. She's so awesome. She's the sweetest, coolest, nicest, friendliest cat I've ever met in my entire life. And like, I met her and was like, oh, I love cats. So here I am. A cat, maybe. Hopefully. My mom doesn't know. I'm not going to tell her yet. yet. But, um, the only problem is that I don't know where the cat is going to stay over winter break. Which is obviously an issue. Which, theoretically, could be like, oh, with me, no problem. I have an apartment by myself, so it's like I can just stay here. I'm not going to be in the country for, like, three of the four weeks of my winter break. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> and usually my roommate gets all the animals over the winter break. Or if I can't take them. Because technically we split, we share the dog. And her family loves animals. Her family like has four cats and they have two dogs. So, like, what's one more dog, one more cat? But, like, one more dog and two more cats? That's, like, six cats. <laughs> That's, like, six cats and three dogs in one house. Like, that is a lot of animals. So, that is... And the thing is, like, when I, I... Yeah, saying yes to, like, taking the cat was, like, kind of an impulse decision, but also, like, when you think about it, like, it's not like I foresee that many issues, you know? Like, the only thing I can really think of is, like, where's the cat gonna stay in January when I'm not in the country? But, like, beyond the, the one month of issue, like, I'm going to be here at my apartment. The cat can stay here with me. And then I'm moving into my own house when I graduate. Like, I'm not going to be moving home. So, like, the cat will be living with me. Like, it's, you know, you see what I mean? It's like this one hiccup in the front that is causing the issue. Okay. I have the Morphe 35O palette. And low-key, I hate it. It's so boring. Actually, I take it back. These are like exactly the colors that I love. Like literally, this is my, where are you? Like this palette from Wet n Wild is like the love of my life. Oof, am I supposed to open these? Is that what they do? This palette from Wet n Wild is like the love of my life. I use it every single day. But the thing is, I was, I was using it every single day and I was like, I have this huge ass palette that I wanted for so long. Like I wanted this for so badly for so long. And then I was like, I'm going to get it. And now I never use it because it's enormous. And really, I, I prefer to use like small palettes or quads and just kind of like open them all up and like pick what I wanted to use. So, hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going to do something with this. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, the cat. He's so cute. He's this little orange kitten. And it's like, how do I resist that? I'm going to meet him tonight at like 5-ish, which is kind of like the worst time for me because I only have an hour and then I have to go to like one of the clubs that I'm in. But, like, also, I'm not going to make them accommodate me, you know? 
because they're the ones hosting this cat. And I know by experience how hard that is, especially since I was fostering a dog like a month ago and I fucking hated it. But the difference is this cat is like a kitten and that dog, okay, so basically here's the whole story. I have a friend who was like considering maybe getting a dog and somebody that she knows, he is like in college, but like has a child and like is not married, but like is going to get married, like all that. Like he's like a grown adult at 22 or something like that. Anyway, this guy that she knows has a kid, then got a puppy, which is like also stupid. Get the puppy first, train the puppy and then have a kid. Like, anyway. So, he and his girlfriend and their baby were like, yes, let's get a puppy. We live in an apartment with no backyard. The best puppy to get is a German Shepherd Husky mix. And because we don't have a backyard, instead of taking it on walks and house training it, we're going to teach it <laughs> to go to the bathroom on pee pads, like doggy pads. Which, they're kind of stupid and they're not really sustainable. But they can be realistically used for like chihuahuas and yorkies and small dogs that don't really need to go on long walks but this is a large mix you know what i mean in what what on god's green earth was like inspired you to do this you know what i mean like i just don't get it anyway they realized that having a dog was too much with the baby and with he was an rotc too so it was like just too much and they were like, we're trying to give our dog away. Do you want her? You can like pet sit her, see if it works. And so she agreed to like watch the dog for a weekend. And yet before that weekend happened, they texted her and were like, you need to take the dog on Sunday or we're taking her back to the shelter. Like we can't do this, which is first of all, unfair. Second of all, an ultimatum. Third of all, annoying. So she took the dog and literally within 15 minutes, just like had a meltdown. So she had the dog for about two days and then we were like, we have a dog already, we'll both help, like we can do it, we'll take care of it. And it would have been fine if the guy that we originally thought was going to take her had come in like a reasonable amount of time, but instead he like kind of let us on for like a week and a half and then we had to keep her for another week. So we ended up having this dog for like two and a half weeks. She shit everywhere. She like is not house trained at all. She was pee pad trained kind of, but like it also wasn't fair because we have class, we have a life. We purposely got a dog that has incredible bladder control. We got her as an adult, we rescued her. And so like we can leave her at home for like six hours while we go to class and it's fine, but we can't leave this other dog. She would be in her crate all day. And it was just like this hot mess. Having another animal will not be like that because this is a kitten kittens can be litter trained and also it's a kitten cats don't need to go on walks there we go that's the truth what the fuck am i doing okay anyway That's really what I wanted to make this video about. I wanted to just talk to an, an audience that can't talk back about getting a cat because I'm really excited and it's like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I just want it really bad. This is the shittiest webcam ever, except it's really not. It's exactly the kind of webcam quality that I like. Exactly the reason that I decided to film this on my webcam instead of instead of my phone. Can you hear my dog breathing? She just does that. That's just how she sounds. Don't be alarmed. Am I a professional? No. Am I good at this? No. Do I like makeup? <sighs> yes.
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm just gonna lighten up the inner corner. Like a real beauty guru. Honestly, I think the thing that beauty tutorials have really taught me is like, try to keep your eyes open while you do your makeup because then you can see how it's gonna look when you're like, going about your life with your eyes open. Because people don't usually go about life like this. You know, like this isn't realistic, but like this. Realistic. Does it look good? No. Am I done? Almost. I'm the worst. I'm really bad at this. Let's see. What else is there to talk about? What else do you want to know about me? I'm 21 years old. I have seven tattoos. I have six piercings. Or three piercings if you count sets, like pairs. I have two siblings. And I love makeup. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not usually somebody who would like sit down and make a YouTube channel because I think it's kind of stupid, to be honest. Like, I like their, they're really fun, but I'm, and I'm also obsessed with YouTube. This is no hate. But, like, I'm not somebody who's like, yes, I need to. I have friends that have YouTube. You know what I mean? But, like, recently I discovered, what's her face? Hannah Louise Poston. And something about, like, the sit-down, eloquent, I'm not eloquent, but, like, I want to try to be, like, style of her videos just, like, really, like, inspire me, especially because she's not, like, buying anything. That's her whole thing. Like, in all of 2018, she's, like, not buying any makeup or skincare or anything. And because she started her channel in 2018, I, like, was able to go back to the beginning and watch, like, chronologically. I just hit myself in the face. Chronologically. And I'm, like, in July now, I think. Um, and it's just, like, really cool to, like, see the progression because, like, I'm a college student. And, yes, I'm happily willing to spend money on my animals. But, like, I don't ever go shopping. Like, ever. Like, I never go shopping. Because, like, I don't have that extra money to spend. Although, I was caught out yesterday because I bought ice cream. All the time like I eat ice cream like three or four times a week like Ben and Jerry's which is an expensive habit I refuse to give it up because I need some happy things because I'm approaching finals and I need it oh yeah but like the fact that she's not buying anything and that she's just like kind of making do but like it's still an interesting soothing exciting channel is like it was inspiring to me and I really like that I like feeling inspired so I jumped on that and I was like let me just film getting ready in the morning and it'll be like a little daily gab session or however probably not daily but like However often I do my makeup, I'll just film it and stick it on the internet for y'all to enjoy. Okay. That's fine. Alright, I have two mascaras. This is not my favorite one. This is the Super Sizer Fibers from CoverGirl. I have the Maybelline Rocket something. I'm like blue it's like a dark blue and I love that mascara that's like my favorite mascara I've ever had sorry um that bag is in the other room and I don't feel like going to get it so because that's in my everyday makeup bag that I bring to work when I don't have time to do my makeup before work
Oh, this shit is dry. This is not gonna work. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna throw this away. Give me one second. That's another thing I love about Glossier, these bags. Fucking love this. And it's also funny because like so much Glossier stuff is like, can you even see, is in my everyday bag. And then I'm like, mm, I don't know if I like it, but I use it when I like need to go somewhere with makeup. Anyway. I love this mascara. The Rocket Volume Express from Maybelline. It's the first time I can remember like using mascara and like specifically liking how it looks. Because usually mascara, like low key, they're all exactly the same. You know what I mean? So it's like nice when you try something and you're like, fuck yes. probably not good that I make this with my real name this channel because like if I am trying to go into media this would not be like a great representation of me and it would come up when I was googled Ugh. I'll have to think about that But for now, who cares? I like how it's been 20 minutes and all I've done is my eyes. But to be fair, my blush and highlight and lipstick takes the least amount of time. Like two seconds and I'm like, oh. I've like really, really been getting into eyeshadow lately. Um, but right now blush is like the thing for me that I love which is so strange because for years and years and years and years like literally from like when I first started wearing makeup I was like all about like just bright blue on the bottom waterline and like that's it but then I started getting into lipstick and I loved lipstick like for so long I have so much lipstick and it's not like easy colors to wear like most of it is like purples or browns or dark dark colors you know stuff that are like like deep reds and things that aren't like particularly nude <laughs> or particularly natural looking but I loved it and I would just wear like mascara and lipstick and like that would be my makeup for the day or not even mascara I just wear lipstick like fuck it I like it but like recently lipstick just has not inspired me at all which is like super sad because I love it so much well at least I used to um blush so i invested in a 20 dollar blush brush it's so nice doesn't always it's not it's, i don't know how to do makeup like i'm bad at makeup so it's like hard to say if it like makes the difference you know what i mean but Uh, this is the e.l.f. blush palette in light. Oh, I guess I see why they cover the mirror now. I always thought that was stupid, but I guess it isn't if it makes that shiny. Anyway, it is so washed out. Like, it's really quite pigmented, but it looks so washed out in that camera. Anyway, so I usually take one of the pink shades. Who I went hard while I wasn't paying attention. Hold on. One second. Okay. I'm so rosy today. That's fine. Usually I take one of the pink shades and I put it on the apples of my cheeks and then I take like the tanner shade. 
and I put it like back here just to like warm up my face warm up the edges of my face oh my god oh my god see how it fans like that that's what it's supposed to do it's supposed to like just like just like just wash the blush across your cheek my one of my favorite beauty journalists arabelle sicardi has this one it's maybe why i bought it but no comment highlighter i only own two powder highlighters wet and wild precious petals because i'm a hoe who loves trends and Jeffree Star Ice Cold because my roommate accidentally got four of these. It was accidentally sent four, so she gave me one. This is one I use less often because I feel weird about using Jeffree Star stuff, even though, like, I don't know. But I love Precious Petals. It's so pink. This is a Morphe brush. I don't like it, but... I use it because I only have like four brushes. I have noticed I did my whole makeup thing with like two. This is really exposing me for how long it takes me to do my makeup when in actuality I'm like, oh, I take like two seconds. I tell everybody it like takes me like no time at all to get my makeup done. Apparently that is a lie. It's a little dark for me to put on my nose, but I don't care. Yeah, I'm taking my capstone right now. It's a fucking nightmare. It's a nightmare! It's not that bad, but it's pretty horrible. I have to like, oh, I forgot to eat my oatmeal this whole time. This is so gross. I'm sorry. I have oatmeal every day for breakfast. Which is a very recent occurrence because usually I don't have breakfast and then I just eat my first meal of the day at like 2 in the afternoon. This is my big mug. I theoretically seasoned, like, not seasoned, flavored this with cinnamon. I literally can't taste it at all, so I have to start adding more cinnamon. Usually I put in honey, and but I put in too much honey the first, no, usually. I've only made, I've been using, like, those season, like, those packets, like, the Quaker packets. And I went home for the weekend. My mom was like, do you want this just, like, container of oatmeal oats? Like, unflavored oatmeal? So it's, like, half a cup and then a cup of water. And you microwave it for two minutes. But it's, like, not seasoned. It's not sweetened at all. So it's, like, plain as fuck. But I've been putting in honey. And it's, like, too much honey. So I got cinnamon. Now I can't taste it at all. Never. Yeah, but when it comes to makeup, honestly, most of the time, I've just been reaching for, like, nude. Nude. Pink, really. Just, like, pink. I used to love matte lips, but now I'm like, I want my lips to look as juicy as po- Oh my god, that looks fucking horrible. Why does it look gray? In real life, it's just like a cool tone of pink. That looks nice. 
and and <laughs> wow that's bad that's rough anyway i'll update you about my cat i'm very excited bye